Hello everyone! Indoor LED grow light is another important application area of LED lighting. Since 2013, the output value of indoor LED grow lights has begun to show a high growth trend. At present, Japan, the Netherlands, the United States, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and Israel are at the forefront of plant factory development. South Korea, Singapore, and China are also developing rapidly. More and more indoor growers buy grow lights to increase the production of crops and cannabis. But one of the most important criteria you should consider when shopping for an LED grow light, the color spectrum. If you don't get the right color of light, plants will just not grow well, no matter how much you spend. If you are looking to get a new grow light, you should really consider LED lights since they are much more energy efficient. That is good for your pocketbook as well as the environment. The problem is that selecting the right type of light is no trivial matter. The market is full of products in a wide price range, and many manufacturers are making claims that are designed to confuse you. OK LED Grow Company is a professional LED grow light supplier for marijuana and industrial plants. Today we will introduce for you how to choose the best color spectrum for cannabis, vegetables, tomatoes, succulents, and seedlings. Number one, what is a color spectrum? Plants are genetically programmed to grow using sunlight, which we consider to be white light or yellowish white light. This light looks white because it contains all of the colors of the rainbow. And when these colors are all mixed together, they look white. A color spectrum is a graphical display of each of the colors in the light. Usually we use wavelength numbers to refer to the colors instead of color names, which is a much more accurate way to measure the color. So a red might have a wavelength of 630 or 660. Both of these look red to us, but they are actually different colors. Grow lights that use fluorescent bulbs refer to the color of the bulb as cool white, has more blue, or warm white has more red. That was useful for fluorescent lights, but such designations do not work well for LED lights. When it comes to LED, it is more accurate to talk in terms of wavelengths and to display the actual color spectrum. Different colors do different things. Red light, 630 to 660 nm, is essential for the growth of stems, as well as the expansion of leaves. This wavelength also regulates flowering, dormancy periods, and seed germination. Blue light, 400 to 520 nm, needs to be carefully mixed with light in other spectra, since overexposure to light in this wavelength may stunt the growth of certain plant species. Light in the blue range also affects the chlorophyll content present in the plant as well as leaf thickness. Green light, 500 to 600 nm, penetrates through thick top canopies to support the leaves in the lower canopy. Far red light, 720 to 740 nm, also passes through dense upper canopies to support the growth of leaves located lower on the plants. In addition, exposure to IR light reduces the time a plant needs to flower. Another benefit of far red light is that plants exposed to this wavelength tend to produce larger leaves than those not exposed to light in the spectrum. Best color spectrum depends on your goals. As plants mature and go through their growth cycle from seedling to adult, and then flowering and fruiting, they use different color spectrums. So the ideal LED light is different for each stage of growth. The best color spectrum also depends on the type of plant you are trying to grow. This can get very complicated and is really only important for commercial growers where they want to maximize results. As a general rule, plants do best with light of all wavelengths, but they don't need equal amounts of each.
Number two, what's PPFD? The amount of light is actually measured as PPFD, photosynthetic photon flux density, sometimes abbreviated to PFD. PPFD is a better way to measure the quantity of light for LED grow lights than lumens. Comparing PPFD values is the next best thing. A higher PPFD will provide more light for plant growth. New design best grow light, spectrum test report, PPF, with 2.8 UMOL slash J. Number three, different plants, we can offer the different color spectrum. Cannabis, vegetables, white light and red light, cannabis with high lumens red light, vegetables with low lumens red light, the white red ratio is 23 to one. For tomatoes, red light and blue light, the red blue ratio is seven to one. Install height is 18 inches. Succulents, only with red light. Seedlings only need pure white light. The grow light install height is about 24 inches. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you're welcome to visit our company website, www.okledgrow.com, or contact us, info at If you can leave your comment, it will be highly appreciated. Thanks.